Hi guys, it's Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. Tonight I am doing Ray stenciling. It was originally going to be just a regular stencil, but last minute decision to make it raised. So, um, I'm using a Gemini Creative Stencil, which I sell on my website. This one retails for $18, um, and it's currently out of stock because this is the only one that I had, but I will be getting more of this design. Um, to create the Ray Stencil, I will be using Essential Botanics Embossing Paste. Uh, this is just the original um, color. It also comes in, I believe, stone, but I don't currently color carry that color. And I will be using some turquoise paint. So, my tools that I have, I have a spatula. I've got myself a plate. Um, my stencil's already taped in place. I'm just using frog tape um, because it won't lift the paint. The piece has been painted uh, with a custom mix color and it has then been distressed and now the stencil is being placed on top of it. So, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I'm going to grab my embossing paste. I'm just going to use a knife to scoop some out. Now it's quite quite a thick mixture give it a bit of a stir um, this is fantastic you can even use this like a putty to fill um, to fill holes or dents etc um, and it works great as a transfer medium I'm gonna get a decent size scoop that's probably enough get a little bit more I prefer to make too much than not enough and what I'm going to be doing is adding a little tiny bit of turquoise paint to this so that's just going to colour it. You can colour this, no worries. So, I've got my turquoise. Um, just a spoon, and I'm just going to put a little bit on it. And then I'm going to use my knife to I'll see that there. mix it in. Now, I'm only using a little bit of turquoise. This isn't going to change it at all it's just adding a little bit of color it's like adding food coloring to white icing and I'm just going to give it a good mix all right so turn a little bit green I want to add a little bit more turquoise I'm just going to add a little bit at a time because that way I can uh, build up the color I'm also going to brush some turquoise over this at the end but by adding some turquoise to this now, it just means that it's already got some color in it, which is what we want. That's pretty well mixed. I'm quite happy with that. Might add a little bit more turquoise to it. The more you work this, the more uh, flexible and movable, oops, and movable it gets. I knew I would flip paint onto this piece. Is there even any on my screen? No, there's not. Oops, too much. A little bit. No, try not to put any more on my piece. Good mix again. So. Alright, there we go. Now it's not bright as bright can be. This is the actual colour of the turquoise, so you can see the difference in the colour. It's not as bright. I might as well clean off that spoon, actually. I'm not putting it back in the jar now. Don't waste any paint. Scoop it off. So as I was saying, the more you uh, manoeuvre this paste, it does get a little bit easier to work with. It is quite thick. There we go. Oops, pop you there. Put my lid back on so I don't knock it over accidentally and ruin this piece. Alright, so there we go. Give that a good mix. You can leave it with some marbling if you want that effect, but um, I don't. Right, there we go. So it's not as bright as the turquoise, but I will brush over this with the turquoise once it's all dry. So grab a spatula now I've just got a regular old kitchen spatula just 
scrape it off, make sure I get it all. All right, so this is really, really, really easy. The key with this is not, is holding it down so the stencil is as flat as it can be to the surface so it's not going to leak underneath too much. And just sort of wipe it on like you're icing a cake. So a little bit of time, hold it steady. And you want to try and get that coverage nice and even. You can use this paste as a texture medium as well. So if you're creating a piece that you want a bit of texture on, you can use it like that as well, even on like a artwork or whatever as well. So just wipe it on. This is all we do. I've got my tape holding in place, so all my fingers are doing are holding it. Make sure you get all those gaps, nothing showing. Now, once you've got it all on there, you can either choose to leave the stencil on there and let it start to dry and then either add another layer or remove it. Or you can remove it straight away. I personally like to remove it straight away. I just find it makes it a little bit easier. Look at that, that was like the perfect amount of product. And what I'll actually do is when I get this stencil off, I'll scrape it all off and then I'll just pop the last of this into a container because I'm actually going to be doing another one on this piece as well. So I won't waste any product either. There we go. A little bit thicker up that end. Now I'm just making sure it's pretty even. Don't stress too much if it's not, because you can sand it off afterwards. There we go, look at that. All right, so the key to getting it off without too much mess is to peel all the edges of your tape up, hold your stencil in place. Let's get your tape up first, focus on that first. Oops, I stuck down the very edge of it and I can't get it off. There we go. Peel up the edges of your tape. Hold, oops, hold your stencil in place as much as you can. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift your stencil straight up into the air. Alright, ready? So we lift it straight up. Oops. Look how cool that looks. So once this is dry, I'm going to give this overnight. I'm heading off to bed shortly, so this will have overnight. And then I'll give it a really, really light sand when it's dry. Just enough to smooth it out a little bit. Some bits are a little bit raised. And that will just smooth it out. But I'm actually looking at this now, and I think that's a perfect colour. I'll see what my client thinks, as it is a client's piece. Um, and I can add a little bit more... Um, I can just dry brush some turquoise over it to make it pop. You could also apply some gilding wax. This is great if you want to um, wax a piece and you want a bit of detailing as well. Super easy to do. You can do it with any kind of stencil you like. I've done this with a French script stencil before. Super easy. Uh, can be a bit time consuming, a bit fiddly, but I actually prefer doing this over traditional stenciling. Uh, have a good night, guys. I'm going to scrape off what's left on my stencil and pop it aside for the next one and then uh, give my stencil a good wash.